The quarterback position has not been great for Michigan the last few years, but there is a lot of reason for hope if you're a Michigan fan heading into 2021. But we're going to have a great quarterback battle. Really, this is probably up there in the top five uh, of quarterback battles that I'm interested to see this offseason. I think it's going to be a big one um, and really, really curious to see how it's going to go down uh, here for Michigan. So let's look at who first is gone. Who has gone from the roster from last year? You're going to lose Joe Milton, the only guy uh, at the quarterback spot that Michigan will lose. He threw for over 1,000 yards last year, four touchdowns. Uh, obviously not a great season for him. It started off really good. I mean, it looked like Joe Milton was going to have Michigan in the top 10. I mean, they looked really good in that first game, and it, it just went downhill. Uh, it was crazy how how big of a turn his his season took um, after that first game. You go to, to Michigan State, uh, that game, he threw for 300 yards in that game. Uh, it didn't didn't throw any touchdowns, didn't throw any interceptions, so he wasn't, I guess, horrible uh, in that game, but uh, it just gradually got worse from there. The next game against Indiana, he threw a couple of interceptions, only a 52% completion percentage in that game. Uh, then you had the game, you know, at this point, he's, he's heading to the bench, not playing the full games, but against Wisconsin. Uh, he threw two, touch, two interceptions there, less than 50% completion percentage in that game. Uh, played some against Rutgers, but just did not get off to a good start there either. So, it was just not a good year for Joe Milton after playing really well in that first game. Again, against Minnesota, he was 15 of 22, 68% completion percentage there, 225 yards passing, a touchdown, no interceptions. So it started great for Milton, but he has, has now entered the transfer portal. He will be gone, and they will have to look elsewhere for their starting quarterback in 2021. So let's see who's back. Who returns? Well, you get Cade McNamara back. He threw for 425 yards last season, five touchdowns. Uh, of course, he had an injury, so we we didn't really – I don't think we really know about Cade McNamara. I don't think we saw enough last season to know if this is a guy that has a chance to be the guy. And Michigan fans, some think that, that he's the guy. He should be the starter. They saw enough uh, from him last year to think he's going to be really good for them. And then other Michigan fans think that he's just not going to take this Michigan team where they need to go. Uh, we will we'll have to wait and see. I mean, you look at his his one game that he played great in against Rutgers. In that game, he was 27 of 36, a 75 percent completion percentage in that game, 260 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. I mean, almost a flawless performance in that game. Uh, then against Penn State, it was not as great. Uh, only 12 of 25 for 91 yards in that game, no interceptions though. He didn't throw any any interceptions uh, in either one of those games. He also played some against Wisconsin as well. Uh, but that Rutgers game, is that what we're going to get from McNamara, or was that a little bit of a fluke? Because, again, you look at Milton in his first game, game against Minnesota, he looked great in that game as well. So, again, there's just not enough to really know uh, what we're going to get from Cade McNamara, but I think he's definitely in this quarterback battle. They also have Dan Valari coming back. He was the number 42 pro-style quarterback in the 2020 class. Not really a guy that I think figures into this quarterback battle. Uh, but uh, he was a three-star, so I'm going to mention him as well. You never know. Uh, Mac Jones was a three-star, so anything can happen. Uh, but I don't really feel like he's going to be in this quarterback race. I think it's going to be McNamara or one of the two newcomers. So who is new for Michigan? Well, let's start with Alan Bowman, transfer from Texas Tech. Uh, this, to me, is a huge pickup for Michigan. I know you, know, you look at his career, you look at his injuries, if if he's healthy, this is a really good quarterback. I remember watching him as a true freshman, and I was really blown away. Like, wow, this is a true freshman doing what he's doing. Uh, you go back to that freshman season. He only played in eight games, but in that season, he threw completed 69% of his passes, over 2,600 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, just seven interceptions. That is, Those are phenomenal numbers for a freshman. Now, from there... Uh, you know, his numbers did dip just a little bit. He kind of got away from that air raid offense, but still put up good, solid numbers. In three seasons, and we're talking about 19 games because he has had some injuries, in those 19 games, he's completed 67% of his passes, 5,260 yards passing, 33 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Uh, so, I mean, this again is a, a kid that if, if he fits with this offense, he has a chance to be really good, and I know a lot of people are overlooking him and think that you know he's just a guy to add some depth. 
I really believe that Alan Bowman could be the starting quarterback, and I believe he could be an all Big Ten type performer if he can stay healthy. That'll be a big question mark. And then the other guy coming in here, of course, is J.J. McCarthy, the number two pro-style quarterback in the 2021 class. A lot of hype around him. How good is he going to be? Of course, we never know what we're going to get from these freshmen. Will he be ready right away? Uh, this, again, is a five-star quarterback. This is a guy with a lot of hype. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. 6'3", 190 in that range. At least that's what his numbers are according to 24-7 Sports. Um, so he's, he's tall. He's got good size. Maybe needs to add a little bit of weight, a little bit of bulk there. But I'll just read off the scouting report from Gabe Brooks of 24-7 Sports. I'm not a guy that, that studies film and can give you a, a great evaluation for all these incoming recruits. That's just not something that, that I really do. But I'll just read you off the scouting report that he gave him. Uh, he compares him to Kyle Allen, said, possesses requisite height and frame with lean build that provides space to add mass in college, already flashes plus vertical arm capacity and good velocity in the short to intermediate game capable of pushing the ball down the field even when forced to remain flat-footed with pressure in his face consistently makes on-target throws from the pocket but also is dangerous breaking the pocket and throwing on the move pro style quarterback with functional athleticism to hurt defenses as a scrambler whether via off schedule throws or tucking it fit the ball in some tight windows as a senior and owns requisite arm strength to drive the ball to the perimeter when required aware in the pocket and feels pressure face Face strong competition as a senior, still has room at the top end of his arm of the arm strength meter, generally accurate, but can still be more consistent in that department. One of the nation's top 2021 quarterback prospects, potential multi-year impact starter at the high major level with long-term early round NFL draft ceiling. So we are talking about a guy, again, that has a chance to be an elite quarterback. Uh, they rate his skills. They have a, a scale they use 1 to 10. His accuracy is a 9. Intangibles, an 8. Outside the pocket, 8. Pocket presence, 8. Delivery, 8. Arm strength, 8. Mobility, only a 7. Size, only a 6, I guess, because um, he needs to bulk up a little bit. He, is, he has the height, again, 6'3". But we're talking about a guy that can throw the football, a guy that has the arm, has the tools to be special. Will they be able to get that out of him? That is the question. If they are able to do that and he's able to reach his potential, this is probably the most talented guy on the roster. So who will it be? Who will this? Who will it come down to? J.J. McCarthy, Alan Bowman. Uh, maybe you go back to McNamara. Going to be a great quarterback battle this offseason, but that's what the roster looks like at that quarterback spot for Michigan in 2021.